Good day, everyone. Time now for news weather today with J7409. The news you can use and the name you know. What's happening today? Possible tornadoes could happen down south. And the nor'easter number three now is a definite. If you have any weather-related pictures or sky phenomenal pictures you'd like to share with me, and I'll use them as my cover photos for my weather forecast, please send them to me. The address is in the click show more scroll down. You'll find it to send them to. It doesn't matter as long as you can send them by that email address, okay? And also, if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. Please click the J7409 down in the bottom right-hand corner. Subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss out on any of the news, weather news, weather forecasts, or weather alerts as they come in. Before I get into everything about the Nor'easter and the weather in general for the U.S., let's start down south this morning as we can see some of these thunderstorms have already started to pop off across the southern states. Possible. It's possible. I'm not saying you're going to have one. Possible for tornadoes all around in this area from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all these parts today. You do have this chance because the rain's going to be coming in. And also, after it passes, some of the winds will pick up dramatically in some of your areas, as well as the winds picking up in areas where heavy thunder showers do occur. Now, for different areas around Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and central Mississippi, and northeast Louisiana, this is what it's looking like. We have that slight chance of severe thunderstorms. You're going to get the rain, but you do have a slight chance of severe thunderstorms. Now, when today, mostly probably during the morning hours up until early afternoon, severe thunderstorms will be possible through the mid-morning today, with the main risk being hail and damaging winds, although a tornado cannot be completely ruled out. In addition to that, expect localized flash flooding will be through mid-morning today as thunderstorms will have the potential to bring one to three inches of rain in a relatively short amount of time. The flooding threat will be greatest in backwater areas along the Mississippi River. And for you guys in the Mobile, Alabama area and also parts of Florida, check this out. Hazardous weather outlook is for South Central Alabama, Southwest Alabama, Northwest Florida, and Southeast Mississippi. Showers and thunderstorms are going to be spreading southeast across this forecast area this morning, then move off the coast by late this afternoon and early this evening. Now, a few storms could become severe with damaging straight line winds, large hail, and isolated tornadoes are possible. Please stay tuned. Be aware of what's going on around you in these areas. And for around Jasper, Georgia, and all of these areas that you see up here, this is a hazardous weather outlook. It's for portions of north and central Georgia. If you live in north and central Georgia, there's a chance of thunderstorms across the western half of your region today, generally west of I-95. Now, there is a chance of thunderstorms this evening across the eastern parts of central Georgia, generally east of I-75 and south of I-20. Now, although instability will be minimal across the region through tonight, we got wind shear that's going to be increasing, my friends, and this is going to allow for a few storms to become strong with gusty winds. Keep that in mind if you're out and about. Okay, here we go. Looking at the GFS courtesy of Tropical Tidbits, we're going to turn it on, and you're going to see how this is going to intensify. Tracking a little closer to the west than we originally thought it looked like it might. So let's turn it on, and here we go. The storm system developing over the southern U.S. this weekend. 
is what's happening to make all of this come about. An evolving storm system over the south central U.S. today will be the main weather story through early Tuesday as a surface low over the deep south is forecast to become better organized as a shortwave disturbance approaches from the western high plains. Now, showers and thunderstorms are expected to be widespread across most of the southeast United States as deep moisture from the Gulf of Mexico surges northward and interacts with a warm front. Some areas from Mississippi to southern Georgia could get an inch or more of rainfall through Monday. And there is also a slight risk for severe thunderstorms over the central Gulf Coast region. By Monday morning, a new surface low is forecast to develop near the southeast coast and become nor'easter number three as it intensifies and moves toward the northeast. There's still a little bit uncertainty of the track, but it is looking like it's going to go in a little more westerly and if that makes the direct impacts like it looked like it could, it will from the mid-Atlantic all the way up to New England be bringing snow and some gusty winds. Now, the best prospects for accumulating snow will be for the southern and central Appalachians and interior portions of the New England. If the northeaster tracks closer to the coast, watch out for those high winds and coastal flooding will be an issue once again. Watches and warnings for this northeaster to develop and watch in different areas. We start out around the Roanoke, Virginia area, which covers many, many areas, okay? Now, this storm system, it can develop over the southeastern U.S. today. It's going to develop over the southeastern U.S. today, and then it's going to begin moving northeast tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, and tomorrow. Eventually, toward North Carolina coast later in the day tomorrow is when this, this system will develop off of my coast tomorrow afternoon sometime. Now, while there is still a little bit of uncertainty, the confidence is increasing that this storm has the potential to bring moderate to heavy snow to much of the forecast area, especially near the west of the Blue Ridge area Sunday night through Monday morning. Now you can see all of these counties here. West Jefferson, Boone, Bland, I mean it goes on and on. They're here and it's a winter storm warning that's in effect from midnight tonight to midnight tomorrow night. Your time. Okay, Eastern Daylight Time. Now what is expected? Heavy snow, total snow accumulations of 3 to 5 inches with isolated amounts up to 8 inches are expected. Now, where should this happen? Portions of central, south central, southwest, west central Virginia, northwest North Carolina, and southeast West Virginia. From midnight tonight to midnight tomorrow night. Might as well go ahead and plan on difficult travel conditions, including the morning commute tomorrow and be prepared for significant reductions in visibility at times. Now for the Delmarva Peninsula area, as of right now, you are just under a hazardous weather outlook. We've got to wait and see exactly how close this track gets to you, but this rapidly intensifying ocean storm will affect the area with either snow or rain changing to snow by Monday afternoon and night. At this point though, how much you're going to get, it looks like it might be below average, but we just can't tell. Snow amounts will depend on the storm track as well as the surface temperatures. So you could get rain, you could get snow, you could get a mix of stuff. We've got to wait and check on the surface temperatures when it gets closer and how far westerly it tracks to the coast. So just prepare, you're going to be getting something in that area. For Rhode Island, you're under a hazardous weather outlook also, and this is including northern Connecticut, southeastern Massachusetts, 
Western Massachusetts, Northern Rhode Island, and Southern Rhode Island today and tonight. Okay? It's not going to happen today or tonight, but the hazardous weather outlook has already put out for you, been put out for you early this morning concerning the days approaching next week. Now, as another coastal storm is passing southeast of Nantucket, it, this storm should bring accumulating snow Monday night into Tuesday of two to six inches. That's the most likely amounts that what it looks like you may get at this time, except on Cape Cod and the islands where one to three inches are possible. Keep in mind these amounts will likely change, so stay tuned, get my weather forecast, my updates, and my alerts. But this is what it's looking like for the Rhode Island and surrounding areas. Now, for the Belfast, Maine area and all of the surrounding areas, you are under a winter storm watch in effect from late tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. Heavy snow possible. Plan on difficult travel conditions, including the evening commute on Tuesday. Total snow accumulation, 6 to 12 inches are expected with locally higher amounts. Where all of New Hampshire and central and western Maine from late Monday night through Wednesday morning. Snow will be heavy and wet, especially across southeast New Hampshire and coastal Maine. This could lead to isolated down trees and power outages and your visibility is going to go down significantly. So please be careful up there, my friends. And for the Boston area, you have a winter storm watch that's in effect from tomorrow evening through Tuesday afternoon. You got a chance of some heavy snow possible with accumulations of 4 to 8 inches possible. This will cover the northeast Connecticut area as well as northern Rhode Island and much of central and eastern Massachusetts. Once again, from tomorrow evening through Tuesday afternoon. Difficult travel conditions are possible Tuesday, including both the morning and afternoon commutes. Although heavy snow is possible, it's not expected to be as wet and heavy as it was with the past winter storm Quinn that just went by and the one before that. So it should limit the potential for damage to trees and power lines. So that's a good thing. And what we're looking at right now is the rain, of course, from North Carolina all the way down to Louisiana. A little portion of around the Houston area, light rain falling. We have snow coming up and to the valley here and over in Arizona and New Mexico. We've got some snow, little patchy stuff going on over here. We will move on up into the afternoon till around 7 p.m. this evening. We see the systems moving across snow now in lower parts of Indiana. Mostly still rain from the mid-Atlantic down south. And over in New Mexico, we have a mixture of snow and rain. So let's go to 2 a.m. Monday morning. Now, where you see the purple, that's freezing rain. That's freezing rain, and the snow is in Virginia along with freezing rain. That is the case also in parts of West Virginia and Tennessee and the very southern tip of Ohio. Other than that, rain, rain, rain. Moving on across, we'll go to around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. That freezing rain turns to snow, still in the same general area. That's why you guys up in the Appalachians are going, looking like you're going to get some snow. 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, we'll hop over to 9 p.m. tomorrow night. It starts to move. Looking like at this point, this is going to be a mixture of rain around 9 p.m. down in this area as the snow seems to move up closer. More snow in New York. We'll move up to Tuesday around 6 a.m. 
that's when it's going between Monday night and Tuesday. You guys up in this area is going going to be getting the snow coming your way from the storm. As you can see, it is moving along. Let's check the winds right quick. By around 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, the wind should be picking up off of my coast here with wind gusts probably around the 30 to 35 mile per hour range. This is wind gusts, not sustained wind that I'm looking at at this moment. We'll go to 2 p.m. right quick. You can see they intensify as we get up closer to the coast here. Let's check right quick, see what these wind gusts are looking like around 34, 35 miles per hour. I wouldn't be surprised if some gusts do peak to 40, but I don't think they should get higher than that. So we'll move on up to midnight Monday. Yes, they are intensifying off of my coast all the way across to, oh wow, look up here, Providence Town, Rhode Island. Let's see what these winds, this is gust once again, 43 miles per hour. See, I told you they were going to increase as they go along. That's the wind gust. I will check out the winds as the system moves a little closer to you guys. No need to go through all the winds and what they'll look like now, but I will tell you the way that it seems to be tracking at high tide, if it track keeps tracking the way it's going to, you could have some minor storm surge in some areas up north. So just please keep that in mind, okay? Be safe. Checking out the cloud cover. The cloud cover around 9 a.m. this morning. Well, as you can see, we have all this going down south, moving over to the east. Also, up in Minnesota and in Iowa and Missouri, we got clouds going on everywhere just about. So... That's a routine. You see the clouds. If you don't see clouds over your state, you know it's clear. 3 p.m. this afternoon. System is moving. 7 p.m. this evening. We will move up to around 2 a.m. in the morning. 12 noon lunchtime tomorrow. 6 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. The whole northeastern corner down to the mid-Atlantic is covered in clouds. 3 a.m. Tuesday morning, things begin to break up just a tad. Still very cloudy up in these areas. So, folks, northeastern number three looks like it is going to happen. It's tracking closer to the coastline of the eastern U.S. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on and how things change. Meanwhile, today, this morning, and today... Down south, you do have a chance of severe thunderstorms and don't rule out the possibility of a tornado popping up. Other than that, we do have another system that's going to be coming in sometime around Tuesday morning off the west coast. You guys keep that in mind also. Please, everybody stay safe. Have yourself a great Sunday. I hope everybody turned your clocks up so... You're not being left behind on today, the 11th of March, 2018. So, with that all said, everybody, keep your eyes on the sky and everything around you. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the comments. And thanks for letting me know what's going on in your area. And when you tell me what it is, make sure you type down there where you're located, okay? So... I thank you so much for that. It helps so very much for me to help track things and keep people safe. Much peace, love, and kindness to all.